Hey guys, it's Dusty Baker. Welcome back to Cross Timbers Bison. Huge day today, huge day. Uh, a day that I've been anticipating for a while. My family's been anticipating for a while. It's our first time to work the bison in our new bison handling facility. I hope everything goes well. So most of the time you see how calm my bison are. Well, all that's about to change uh, because anytime we start to work them, stuff can get a little crazy. Right now they're out here uh, nice and peaceful. Nobody's bugging them. But um, when we start working them, it could get a little crazy. Uh, this is where you start to see the real side of, of bison and how dangerous they can be. So I'm not gonna talk a lot. It's just hard for me to talk. But I've got some help today. I've got Daniel from Arms Family Homestead. I've got my lovely wife to help do some filming today. And uh, they're gonna help me out um, while we work the bison and run them through our system that we've built. And um, they're gonna do some filming for me because it's really hard for me to kind of talk and do that because I'll be working them and stuff. So um, anyways, hope you guys are ready. This is gonna be a show. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. Something I'm really excited about is right here. We've got some new tags. We're gonna try to put ear tags on all of our bison today. And I have some custom made ones here, uh, made by Allflex. Um, so I got our brand on there, Cross Timbers Bison. Um, so the number in the beginning is the year the animal was born. Um, and then on the end, got a new scale system so that we can keep up with weights. This is by True Test. Bought it through a local dealer. Here's the platform with the load bars here and here. We don't have this mounted yet because we don't have a top over our facility yet. Yes, we're going to have a barn to cover all this. I know it's rusty and kind of ugly right now. That's the way it is. Uh, we're going to get this stuff painted and we're going to get a barn over the top of our handling system. And it's gonna be awesome and this stuff will be out of the weather and out of the elements. This is all a big learning uh, curve. Today, once we work the bison, we'll have a good idea of, um, you know, where, uh, or where are the problems at and what are the issues that we have in our handling system. Remember, this is an old dairy foundation right here. This is an old milk barn that we converted into a bison handling system. So put a lot of work into it and finally we're here so wish us luck we're gonna need it oh so nervous but hope it goes well and all the animals stay safe that's the main part and that people stay safe so let's get it going
Chain it right there. go back out with your family all right all of you buddy thanks for jumping over the gate okay We worked our bison. It's the first time ever cross timbers farm. We worked our bison. Um, the only ones we didn't get to work were the two calves and our sick uh, quapaw heifer Dakota. Um, they're, they, I couldn't get them in. I'm gonna have to start feeding them a little bit closer so I can get them in. But other than that, we got the main herd. We got uh, the adults um, brought in. We got them worked. So. That's really good. Uh, this this doesn't not. Really well, that's it, guys. We um we worked the bison for the first time here at the Cross Timbers Farm. Everything went pretty well, minus uh, two of them uh, may have got out right here of the headgate, but we've got it pinned off, so they got kind of stuck in here. Got to make some a couple adjustments. We got to change height on a couple of gates here, wherever it is. Um, we've got to do a couple little things uh, just to beef up the handling system. Um, but other than that, it went pretty well for the first time uh, working our bison. The alley system worked really good. Um, Doc, um, the vet, Doc Parsons, the bison guy I always talk about, came over and he, um, we gave the bison their vaccinations. We wormed them. Um, remember, there's no hormones. We do not give bison hormones or any extra supplements um, to beef them up or anything or, or to gain muscle. Okay, the bison world does not do that. At least we hope they don't, and we don't do that. So um, usually we just give them some antibiotics and we worm them. Okay, just like cattle, uh, just normal stuff like that. Nothing extra. And um, we also pulled hair on our two new heifers. Uh, that I bought in November, the two uh, new Quapaw heifers. They're going to be two years old this spring. We pulled their hair, and we're going to register them. So I'm excited about that. Uh, we'll send their hair off, and they get it, uh, their DNA lineage tested, and then we go from there, and uh, we'll get the result. We get hopefully get the results uh, back soon, and then 
we'll get there. Um, they're, they'll be registered in the Bison National Bison Association registry. Other than that, um, I think we're going to have to get a different head gate. The head gate was not great. This head gate swivels open like this. It's called a self latch gate, but it's really not self latching. You've got to bring it and latch it here. And it's not the best. A hydraulic squeeze chute would be the best. Yes, but. Whew, just look online and see how much those bad boys cost. They are expensive. And, you know, we only have 10 bison. Maybe someday when we have a lot more bison, we can have a nice manual, or sorry, a hydraulic squeeze chute like Doc does in Stratford that you've seen me work before. Um, but I think the biggest change that we need to make is right here. We need a, what you call a scissor um, head gate. And it's basically where they come down right here. You have this half will come down here, and this half will come down here at the same time. Kind of comes to them, at, you know, right here at their neck. I think that's going to be a whole lot better, especially um, just from learning what we just went through right here. A um, couple of them, a uh, couple little other things. So, one of the minor issues we had. Uh, was right here so this thing popped open it's just the side uh, gate here panel let the bison out this was undone and Dunbar our bull got out um, he didn't get out of the property necessarily but he got into this holding area that we have here as you can see it's our little working area but the good thing is about my bison, like I've told you before, is I spend a lot of time with those bison. They see us a lot, um, and uh, you know, I don't like to call them pets necessarily. Some people um, call them that, but um, you know, we have to do this. We have to be around these animals um, so that um, whenever we do work them, they aren't crazy because uh, a lot of places there are some crazy bison out there and when people hear that I have bison they freak out and they say oh they're crazy you know you should be aware of them and you probably see all the bad stuff on Yellowstone uh, that happened to people those animals are way different okay they're living off the land um, and there's no human intervention hardly at all and they go without seeing a lot people they do see people but those animals are just different than than ours and um but i'm excited we got them worked but the number one thing i'm really excited about is we had them preg checked we had our um, heifers preg checked and our cow um dakota not dakota sorry quapa our cow that had calf last year um and we have four pregnant bison uh so three of them it'll be their first time to have bison it's my original herd um they're old enough to have babies now and doc preg, preg checked them all and we've got four um bred bison and i'm pumped about that my wife is even more pumped than i am that was what she was worried about um if if dunbar didn't do his job well, i don't know where he is he's running around here somewhere if dunbar didn't do his job oh i don't know what we're gonna do you know um but he did so now we just uh anxiously wait until uh we have some babies on the ground eleanor is six months pregnant and the rest of the heifers is uh four months pregnant so super pumped about that all right, guys. Well, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching um, bison being worked for the first time here at our at our farm. It's taken a lot of work for this handling system. Doc actually liked a lot of it. He gave us a lot of good pointers and, and told us some stuff that we could change. But I think he really liked our handling system. Um, you know, make some minor adjustments on the head gate and maybe get a new head gate. 
raise up some bars on the gates here. Um, but other than that, I think Doc really, um, he had a good time. It was definitely fun. Anytime you work bison, it could get interesting. And today it got definitely a little bit interesting. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video first time. Glad you guys could be a part of it with us. To be able to work the bison here at the farm is so much more convenient. It's safer to me instead of putting them in a trailer. Remember, we've lost a heifer um, because of um, a horn. Um, in a trailer we had some bison in a trailer and we took them up to Stratford and when we came back one of them had been horned in her side kind of in her heart lungs area area and she was dead in 20 minutes and so that's unfortunate we learned uh, the lessons there but you know that's just part of having livestock that's part of having animals but you do what you can to keep them safe and and make sure everything goes smooth and calm uh, it's never calm, but you can do the best you can. So, anyways, thank you guys for following. Thank you for being a part of this journey. I know I've been talking about this a long time. Hey, we're working on this. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. Well, we finally made it happen. And um, it's just a lot of work, especially when you have a full-time job. You have a baby now, I'm a husband, and all those things. So, thank you guys for following. Stay updated with us. We've got some pregnant mamas. Well, we don't have pregnant mamas. We've got some pregnant bison. <laughs> We've got three heifers that are pregnant and one cow that is pregnant. And that is exciting. That's going to be the next big thing. Oh, and also, we've got to work uh, our cow, um, Dakota. She's sick. And then we also have to work those two calves. We've got to get some warm, uh, warmer in them. Other than that, we'll be good. Thank you guys. Follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. CrossTimmersBison.com. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys. Oh, I almost forgot to do this. I want to thank Katie, my sister Katie. I want to thank DJ from Arms Family Homestead, my sister, for watching our baby girl, Brooks. By the way, I'm going to introduce you, formally introduce you to Brooks here pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. Uh, Kevin, for um, helping build this whole thing. Takes a lot of time. And he's a very busy guy helping me uh, build this and helping us work them and help take care of our bison. Thank Daniel from Arms Family Homestead for getting some good footage for us and also working the bison. I think he had a fun time. Of course he did. He likes filming stuff like that, making fun of me. Whatever, that's fine. But uh, we enjoy it. We like poking each other. So. Um, and don't let him slide because he's worked bison before. He's been around bison before. That's how we got all started in this back when we worked in the park service. Um, also, uh, who else? My wife. I want to thank my wife for letting me do this. Very thankful for my wife to let me do this and be a part of it. And she supports me in this. And she knows that when I'm getting a little bit too far thinking or uh, I'm about to make a mistake she prevents me and tries to correct me and help me on those or uh, when I'm working the bison she's the first one to call me out and say are you really sure you're going to do that or uh, get out of that pen so very thankful for my wife and she was down here in the middle of this when uh, my sister DJ was watching our, our baby Brooks so thank you to everybody it takes a family to do all this and uh, I love them and I'm very thankful for them. Thank you guys. Get my glove back. Go.